Yeah. All we can hear is like chunk 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 like sounds like someone's jumping on beds. Oh yeah. Uh, go on. Go on. It's like chunk nah, chunk right, chunk 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 Yeah, yeah. It took me a little while to process. And go I'm on. like, what is yeah, that have sound? Fun. Have fun. And then we realised yeah. that it's basically Carl and yeah. Miguel <laughs> jumping on the bed because they're so angry. Yeah. And welcome back. I don't know why I just did that. Oh my days. But anyway, hi guys, and welcome back to the Locked Boom. In Boom. channel. Boom. We um, we are a locked in family. <laughs> we build together forever. Something, something. Can't remember the rest of I'm gonna remember it. <laughs> We are a family. Never do that to me again. Listen. We are a family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm gonna sing it every time. So, I, when you if you see me out, sing it to me. Wow. You we can't are handle that. Stop fronting. <laughs> she would run. <laughs> no, I'll sing it with you. Don't don't let me. I'll sing it with you. But yeah, this week we are back with a story time. You saw yes, the title. Are. You're thinking, huh? Literally. Did that happen? Shot with a shotgun during praise and worship. What do you mean? Wait a second, is that like literally the only gun you know? Who told you it was a shotgun? It was a shotgun. It was not a shotgun. What was it then? Yes, it was. No. Nah. That's what the whole thing was that it was a shotgun that was close range. No, it was a rifle that was close range, which is just as dangerous. Oh, okay. A few minutes later. Shotgun, it would have had pebbles and it would have been, yeah, it was a rifle. Okay, so it was a rifle. So that's so it doesn't need to be, it's just shot with a rifle during yeah, prison. Just shot with a rifle during prison, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> why did you say that before? No, because yeah, I just didn't think the shotgun was a trend that you were gonna keep on going with. I thought you were just saying it just oh, on no, the no, one-off. That's what I thought it was. No, 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 all right. All right. Okay. So anyway, so shot with a rifle. You must be thinking, why are you yeah. saying shot with a rifle? Draw can this cat, I swear to you. I don't like this cat. <laughs> Go away, I don't like you. Stop bullying them, man. I'm cutting it out because it's going to be animal cruelty, but I don't <laughs> like them. <sighs> a little longer than a few minutes later. It was. I'll set the scene. Yeah. Yeah, because Carl can And then it's going to jolt my memory, right? Because. Huh? Then it's going to jolt your memory? Yeah, it's kind of patchy for me. Okay, so basically, it was. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Okay, it wasn't that back in the day, but it was like... It was a little while. Four years ago. Nah, more than four years. Five years ago. More than five. Nah, that's too far. Was it too far? Yeah, that's... How long have we been in a new building, actually? Seven years. Okay, and it was way down longer That's than what that. I'm talking about. It would have been it was about... Like about seven years okay, ago. It was about seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And we was... At that time, we would have been having our church at the old building mm -hmm. but I was having praise and worship at my pastor's house yeah and yeah. imagine we're singing um i can't even remember what song would be was singing. it practice or it was praise and worship practice yeah. Yeah. so i was having praise and worship practice and then um i don't remember what song was singing but probably something like lift jesus higher higher and higher lift him up for the world oh, wow. to see he said if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw man unto me so lift him come on higher no, higher higher and higher higher lift him up for the world to see he said if i he said if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw man unto me yeah <laughs> that was your solo your but anyway so i'm probably singing that song <laughs> probably singing that song and so i'm just looking over there because lions are sleeping but yeah we're probably singing that song and literally we just heard boom 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 on the window yeah so obviously come on when praise was about so we're hearing boom boom on the window we're like what so we go to the window and then i i think i even went to the window someone quote me if i'm wrong but i think i went to the window or someone went to the window open the window and one of our friends we're gonna call him tyrone was at the window with another one of our friends called Lamon, yeah so tyron and Lamon came in yeah and they were like he's been shot he's been shot he's been shot adam's been shot and i'm like what so everyone's like what we're confused like i'm i'm confused and we're like who's been 
sure this like and obviously when we saw them knocking on the window we're laughing so we're in person watching so at first we're laughing like <laughs> like why are they not at the window but they're in their face you can tell something's wrong yeah. so we've opened the window now we've let them in and they're like yeah someone's been shot and they run upstairs and upstairs was carl and another one of our friends Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> Good name. Yeah, yeah Miguel. Yeah. And you know what, what happened when he ran upstairs. Um, so he ran upstairs and obviously he's, he's still shaking up. He's like, yeah, da -da -da -da. they shot at us. And I'm like, who's they? And obviously they is, you know, okay. things are happening in the streets of London and where we were growing up. That was kind of like a common occurrence. But they, we actually knew who they were, you know. And the person that had been shot was actually a, a family friend of mine, you know. So I was like, wow, all right. So we kind of counted the boys. Your names you gave them, Tyrone and Lamone. Yeah. We could see Tyrone and Lamone, but they're saying that Adam's been shot. So we're like, then where's Adam? And they're like, like basically we all started running, but we had to kind of leave him, I think it was the case, yeah. you know. So I'm like, what? So now I've gotten a bit... I went, that saved then, you know, I'm a lot more refined now. But then I got kind of pissed off, I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? So you lot left Adam. So now, Miguel <coughs> is also blowing his trumpet, yeah, not praise and worship style either. <laughs> yeah, we're all kind of this a bit, you know? And Meanwhile, then, we're downstairs, panicking, yeah. confused, yeah. and this, although we do understand that yeah. we are the church in Baghdad, that's basically what we called it. Yeah. yeah, we understand that and we do, we've seen some little small occurrences of like, obviously because we know a lot of people that are attending the church, mm. in the church, are ex-gang members, mm. yeah, trying to be reformed. So we, we understand, and most of us come from this lifestyle, but still, imagine that being a praise of worship. So we're all gone kind of quiet and a bit like, everyone's kind of like what's going on and then after the quiet it's a bit more of like so like everyone's kind of like just going going around going around yeah. and talking about what's happening yeah yeah and so then basically we ended up f figuring out that he's basically out there somewhere you know so then i think pastor at the time pastor trusted me a lot more when it came to me handling my um temper and my rage at the time than miguel mm -hmm. so she was like you know what obviously we're gonna have to go and get him you know and see if he's okay and you know and back then you know being a product the first point of call weren't actually calling the authorities or an ambulance either you know it was just basically go out and get him you know see where he's at then see what needs to happen so we ran out there basically um i went with a guy called brother books yeah and brother books actually didn't grow up in our community he was from um, Nigeria, but he was a part of the um, ministry, the part of the church. You don't remember Brother Books being there, right? No, no, no. Yeah, I remember Brother Books being there. I'm not too but sure. But I do remember else. that by this time, our pastor had called the ambulance. Oh, had yeah, she, she called? Had called oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so then um, we've now gone out there and down like the court and just looking for him, basically, looking for Adam. And as they've gone to look for, as him and Brother Books has gone to look for Adam, um, Lamone and... Tyrone. Tyrone had come downstairs, yeah. <coughs> and basically like, no, no, like getting angry, like, no, no, I can't believe it. And we're trying to basically calm them down, like, and they're like, no, we're gonna go back out there, we're gonna go back out there. And then we're like, no, no one else leave, no one else leave. Like just stay in the house. If someone goes shot, stay in the house. And obviously <coughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know that like, I'm like Carl's gone and I'm like, what if something <laughs> happens to them? That's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, what happened? Yeah. Because I know Someone else would could say that, oh, why didn't you guys wait for the police to come? Yeah. But we couldn't leave him no, outside. And then obviously think at the same time, what if something happens to Carl and Brother Books? Yeah. So we're panicking downstairs and they want to leave the house and I'm holding them back. And then Miguel comes downstairs and yeah. Miguel goes mad. Yeah. But he had every right to because of the... Miguel goes mad because yeah. he's wondering why is everyone yeah. panicking, making yeah. so much noise and... They already tried to sort out a situation. Number two, why Tyrone and Lamone are saying they want to leave when they left him in the first place. So yeah. They're like, you left him, which, come on, now thinking about it, what else are you going to do? Yeah. You're running, you're all running. <laughs> hysterical. There's hysterical. Yeah. People, you, you're hearing shots. You've just seen, like, 
what else are you gonna do? Do you get what I mean? You, you, you what, what more? You can't, you're not gonna run back into the bullets, but yeah. obviously. But Adam like, is his family member. Yeah, Adam, Adam is Miguel's is... family member. Yeah, so Miguel so, is like, yeah. you didn't do anything, so yeah. just, you, everyone just shush. Just chill out now. And I mean, the whole room went silent. It was like this. It was went from <laughs> literal silence, yeah? And I just think I was in my thoughts thinking, what sort of church is this? <laughs> What have I got myself into? Subscription, you can't terminate me. And I'm praying, literally, yeah. like, God, please, like, I pray that Adam is okay, mm. that Carl's going to be okay, yeah. and that brother Books is going to be okay. Yeah. And literally. Do you know, so, it, it, it was sketchy, but, you see, what you have to understand is that we got insight. So, like, if something happens in the community, which was pretty often, yeah, if you're waiting for the ambulance to come, the ambulance then has, has to, to also for wait for the police to come to have a police escort. And then if it's been a shooting, there's a meeting that has to be taking place. So literally, they actually have a conversation as to what's the best way to engage because, you know, um, police officers can sue for saying the department had negligence when it came to dispatching them. So there's all of these protocols that we are aware of because we grew up time, in this the person community. This is what we know, you know? So then left. if they've gone and the person's bleeding out, then the person's in trouble or the person's scared or something else could happen, you know? So, and we knew who they were, you know? It weren't like, you know, it's a small community. Like I grew up in Brixton, everyone knows everyone in Brixton, you know? So I kind of knew who they were and yeah. So we went out there anyway, me and brother Books and um, we actually happened to stumble upon him and he was stumbling, you know? And so we like basically just picked him up either side, lifted him up by his legs and then kind of just ran him over to the house. And then as we ran him over to the house, you know, it's just weird. This is why I was saying that I don't know if I remember the story because it's not actually the first bleeding person mm. that we've had in that corridor of our pastor's home. You know, like that's maybe the third bullet victim. That's, it's happened three times where someone has been shot in either the leg and been placed on that same kind of floor in there, you know? So I remember we wanted to try and elevate his leg because we know that, you know, the heart pumping, you know, we've got a little bit of first aid on us, you know, so we tried to do that and just waited for the ambulance to come really, you know, but mm. yeah. And I remember us being downstairs, literally being confused and just hearing everything that was going upstairs, going on upstairs. Mm. And I remember that um, someone went upstairs. I don't like blood. That's yeah. one thing about me. So I wasn't going upstairs and I don't like to, I don't know, I don't like to involve myself when there's nothing that I can physically do. Do you understand? So I just stayed downstairs and someone upstairs and it was just like there's so much blood everywhere. And I remember I could hear Adam like basically scream crying. Mm. Like and that was even thinking about it now, that yeah, that was like heart wrenching mm. for me. And I remember just thinking, this is why this church is here. This, this is exist. why this is why we exist yeah. because as much as yeah we're doing praise and worship practice and yeah everything's in the four walls you know you're used to everything being in the four walls of church and everyone having but this is why we exist to stop stuff like this from happening and to stop just yeah just stop things like this from happening and this so basically i remember i could hear the ambulance man the ambulance came and they took some angry remember um car and brother books had left we'd be they'd left for about 15 minutes they'd come back in with um Adam, Adam had been being seen for about 10 minutes from our pastor, like lifting the leg, the elevation. Mm, yeah. So they'd come like half an hour later. Yeah. So if it was, yeah. he was outside on the street. By yourself. Or by, by himself being yeah. out and scared. Yeah. Cause obviously pastor kept telling him, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, it's fine, it's fine. And you didn't have anyone around you, mm. he could have possibly died. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. and the time that they took to come. So when they've got there, they basically checked that the leg and stuff and they've taken him in the ambulance now and as they're taking him in the ambulance obviously they've they're cleaning up upstairs and all we can hear is jumping yeah all we can hear is like chung, ka -chung, ka -chung, ka -chung, ka -chung. like sounds like someone's jumping on beds oh yeah yeah, go on, go on. It's like, all right, I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it took me a little while to process. And I'm like, what is that sound? Have fun. And then we realized that it's basically Carl and Miguel jumping on the bed because they're so angry. Yeah. No, they're literally, and obviously that is like, it was, it was so, it was such a, I don't know, what's it called? Is it oxymoron? 
because like jumping on the bed on that sort of sound is not a, that's a sound of yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's like a fun sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're hearing someone jump, and then that it just didn't correlate. But mm. it, it it's because they were so angry just. and so frustrated. And imagine, like I said, they like we've said, you know about Carl. Yeah. If you don't go check the video, I'm gonna insert it up there. Check the video of um gang signs a lesbian yeah. yeah but literally he's he's an ex-gang member so mm. something like that could instantly trigger you absolutely so i remember our pastors literally begging them yeah don't leave the house don't go out there don't because as you, i've just said that's my girl's family member yeah and they know who did it which is basically my family family yeah. friends and the characters that did it if me and miguel were still active that wouldn't, wouldn't have, have done happened. it there would be no way that would have happened so it's just a conflict you're it, just thinking you know and again oh, yeah. that's ringing through my head and this is why this exists mm. because if this didn't exist they would have gone out there Absolutely. they would have done something and now you would have had one person shot and maybe mm. another person you would have had maybe one person dead mm. and another person dead yeah. all for what Nothing. and even like that's basically the end of the story isn't it yeah, yeah that yeah, is yeah. what happened yeah and adam is living he's living he's he's, he's leg is yeah. And it's not the same it's not but the same. it's as good as it can yeah. be yeah and absolutely. the only thing is he um in the cold i know that he always tells me in the cold it yeah. i think he's got metal in there it hurts yeah but apart from there he's good it don't stop him from doing these works he's flourishing you our know, battery's he's, dying so yeah. Oh, yeah he's flourishing he contributes he's, he's not he's not even uh, involved and he's not involved and he no, wasn't involved he wasn't involved he wasn't involved it's just that yeah One of those things wrong place wrong time yeah that kind of thing but it just even with everything that's going on outside now moment, at the moment and all the violence and all the going in between and it's just a constant reminder that what we do is great basically no, and we're a church and we are a church obviously and we deal with we we do what churches do yeah. but we also are basically a gang rehabilitating yeah, absolutely. Force. Yeah, basically, that's just. <laughs> that's what it. it that's what it is. That's what we specialize. Yeah, in, and that's, that's yeah. Background. And we literally go out and do walks and talks, and Carl goes and yeah, we just that is what we do. So it's just a reminder of that. And um, I know that it was quite a thingy caption. Yeah. To absolutely. get you to watch this, yeah. but yeah, if you've got family members or friends or anyone that's involved in anything like that, yeah, I'm gonna put our church details below. Yeah. Come. Come and, and look, see the good works. You know what? On on the flip side, I got my son yeah. sleeping and I'm vlogging with my wife at the moment, yeah. If I had gone and retaliated in that moment, this might never happen. And I don't want to miss out on this. You know, you know so it's so much just, it, what ifs. And there's so many even like We'll talk about the fact of um, maybe one day, Carl's one of, I don't know if you heard the song, um, I'm gonna, my bro in prison, my bro in prison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Carl's got a song, check that out, that <laughs> talks about that his friend in prison for life is Lion's Godfather. Godfather. I say I'm about to have my baby And his godfather's gonna be my bro in prison Man he's serving life but still my bro in prison My child my life so it's my decision Yeah that's real rap though Bring the real back though All that People are gonna have something to say about that But you can have something to say because you don't understand <laughs> Yeah but literally how one situ one one thing that you do can affect everything one And even happens. forget just gangs Lifetime and sounds. forget all of this stuff Just Let's just I'm talk sorry. in general Whatever you do, remember whatever decision you make today will affect your tomorrow. I just want I just want to put that out there. Whatever whatever it may be, whether it be what job you're gonna take, whether it be who you're gonna go out with, whether it be a split decision can change everything. So think before you go out there and do anything. But yeah, that's it. And let us know what story time you wanna see next. We've got so many different But how are they gonna know? Um, should we put two, maybe? All right, cool. You got, got them. One. Remember we wrote Marchie's some. dead. Yeah. Oh, and, um, yeah. What was they? Um, I wouldn't remember them off head. Um, lion circumcision. Lion circumcision. Yeah. Um, sexual harassment at work. Yeah. Um, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Yeah. About when you've had to basically. Oh, patch up people's yeah. bullet and stab them. Yeah. yeah. He's a doctor. So it's about <laughs> that. Um, how we got saved 
Yeah, how we got saved. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. would be an interesting one. So let us know which yeah. out of all those ones that we've just right, said, which cool. one you'd want to see. And today, I want you guys to put... I want to see who, obviously, is subscribed. First person to comment on this video, who is subscribed and got their post notifications on, I'll give you a shout-out. And this... Um, the, the symbol that we're going to use today is I want you to do a smiley face. So if you watched it all the way to the end, do yeah. a smiley face before your comment. King. But we love you. Um, our son is still sleeping. It's a miracle. That's a miracle. I can't lie. <coughs> That's water turned to wine right there. And we'll probably have another video for you tomorrow because yeah. we haven't had videos for you this yeah. week. So we said we're going to have three out this Boom. week. Love you guys. And see you again next time. Stay hashtag locked Boom. in. Much later.